Hey guys, my name is Simpsy. How are you all doing? Welcome back to some more Hearts of Iron 4 here today on the channel. We're going to be checking out Palpatine's Gamble, a full conversion Star Wars mod for Hoi 4. Here today, we're going to be starting a campaign series as the Galactic Republic. I hope you like the sound of it. I am open to doing more on this mod, so let me know if you if you'd like to see a, a Trade Federation campaign, a Mandalore, maybe playing as Dooku, or the Twi'leks, I guess. Check out this gross Twi'lek here. Didn't he, like, enslave his people or something? But yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to be playing as the Galactic Republic. Hopefully we can have the Battle of Geonosis here today. Um, Series-wise, I want to execute Order 66, bring balance and peace to the galaxy, and I want to form the Galactic Empire. So we've got Kashyyyk here, we've got the Kamino, uh, or, is it Kaminoans? I think it's, that's how you say it, if people from Kamino or Kaminoans, my god. Star Wars lore is just so crazy and huge, <laughs> I'm still yet to get my head around some of it, but yeah. So, we're going to start things off playing as the Galactic Republic, and I can't wait to show you guys some of the new features they've added to the game. But here is Coruscant. We have the Senate building here, and our clone troopers. We've got the Jedi Temple to the north. A lot of fantastic models in this. So this is one of the <laughs> better full conversion Hoi mods that I've seen in a while. So we have Coruscant here. We've also got another planet to the north as well. So we currently have a different Chancellor. We do need to eventually get Palpatine in. Political advisors, we could bring in Padme <laughs> to spend some of this political power early. Um, I think we'll go with daily political power gain of 0.5. That would be more beneficial to me. So let's bring that in. Uh, we also can call up Mace Windu here and Kid Fisto, Anakin Skywalker, but here's the focus tree. Crikey! For the Galactic Republic. So a thousand years of peace. Uh, I guess we start this focus tree firstly. The Republic has stood as the galaxy's guiding light. It's bastion of democracy. Okay, no more. So we want to go down and follow the first movie, the uh, the, Nabu, the Naboo Crisis, and we've got the Battle of Geonosis there as well. That's what we'll try and have the Battle of Geonosis uh, here today. We've also got the Chosen One here with uh, Anakin Skywalker, and we can like bring down Jedi's and have the Great Jedi Purge as well. So. This is going to be a really exciting campaign. I can't wait to get my teeth stuck into it. Okay, well, let's set up the Grand Republic Army. So, we don't actually have access to clone troopers just yet. So, here's our land doctrine, our tech trees, naval, our naval doctrine as well. So, this is like Republic equipment. Uh, pre the clone army. So let's just start things off investing in the Republic's production and industry. Same with the construction as well. Uh, blasters wise as well. We want to try and upgrade them probably to the CR7 eventually. Getting shot by a blaster is no joke, man. It's actually like, I think, <laughs> I've seen some videos like it's way worse to get shot by a blaster because it just like melts skin. <laughs> it's just awful. It just spreads all over your body. Like, you'd be better to get a <laughs> shot than by, by gunpowder than by a blaster. We've got some uh, heavy corvettes here as well. Uh, diplomacy wise, so we do have the, uh, the Confederacy and then obviously the Republic. Uh, construction wise as well, so we can build on that other planet there. So I guess we'll start off by building some military factories and we'll build some civilian as well because we want to be able to get trade in as well. Production, let's start off with just getting some basic infantry blasters, support equipment as well, essentially for our Senate guard units and some basic 
Republican fighters for now. Because we haven't hit the second movie yet. So we don't even know if Kamino exists <laughs> in the, uh, the Outer Rim. So we start off with 30 mil factories, 8 shipyards as well. Okay, that's fine. And we have 2,000 credits. Uh, yeah, so it's just, yeah, Senate Judicial, Judicial Divisions and Senate Guard. So these are pretty bare at the moment, but that's all right. They'll be fine to garrison our planets. No war has even kicked off just yet, so agency, that's not being used, which is good. Okay, so we have 10 million in the bank. So here's the market. So we can eventually buy Venator class destroyers and like star destroyers as well which is fantastic so that's how you mostly get your equipment you buy them from the market we've also got a bank here as well to take out loans which we might do because we're hemorrhaging cash there's a bounty hunter system as well you can bring these guys in as generals like it's actually crazy <laughs> this mod we've also got the senate here as well to vote on various policies that we can bring to the front importantly for us will be the military creation and there's also a overall tech rating so we can't just initially spam phase two clone troopers when we can get them so we're only at tech one at the moment so we need to get that up to tech two at some point to get clone troopers in okay there's also uh, so basically to simulate navies and how they work there's like hyper lanes around that you need to control to get supremacy on if you want to invade planets which is really cool so, we'll try and definitely focus on trying to get some of the the biggest navy in the game. That's what's going to really help us out. So, we do have some troops dispersed around the galaxy. So, so I think bringing all of these judicial security forces back to defending our capital, Coruscant, is, is probably the play. So these guys technically aren't clone troopers just yet, but I still think it's pretty early days in development. We're losing 6,000 uh, there, so we need to get that back on track. Uh, we're also getting some early fighters in as well, which is good. Alright, so we need to go down anti-corruption stance or concession. We want to be sort of malevolent in this series because we want to be... Palpatine at the end of the day and, and sort of go down the movies to form the Empire. So I think going with concessions for corporations. Um, pacifists. So corporations, militarists will come closer to secede. Hmm. I think we'll go with the right side of it. I don't know exactly. We should be right. This is my first time playing this through. So we'll see how we go. Yeah, I think concessions for the corporations is potentially the play there. We've also got the alignment chart as well. This was like a Hoyt 3 thing, wasn't it? Yeah. So that's quite cool that they've added that in. Oh, here we go. The first mission chain is kicking off. The invasion of Naboo. Your Highness, there is no logic in the Federation's move here. Qui-Gon Jinn. <laughs> the situation here is not what it seems. Here we go. Okay. So, we'll eventually want to go down to vote of no confidence as well. So, we can officially start off the Naboo crisis and the droids will probably invade well Naboo I guess so let's start things off okay so we've completed the Naboo crisis now the trade federation 
<laughs> is blocking Naboo. Uh, reports of an illegal invasion. So we can send diplomats, we can vilify the Trade Federation in these actions, or we can ignore the Queen. Yeah, because you can sort of go down like a peaceful route if you want. Um, the Royal Queen of Naboo desperately needs the help of the Galactic Republic. She has accused the Trade Federation of illegally blockading her planet. So we can send diplomats, which will get the ship destroyed. I think we'll just vilify. I don't know what that means. Diplomatic ship destroyed. I guess we just vilify the Trade Federation, because we want to condemn them. We want to have a, a Cass's belly against them and have a, a war goal against the Trade Federation. So we'll go with a vote of no confidence, because we want to try and bring in Palpatine as well as quickly as possible. I kind of forgot that there was a, a Chancellor before Palpatine. <laughs> it's been so long since I watched those movies. Let's get that done. Oh, here we go. Vote of no confidence. And the land invasion in Naboo is probably going to kick off. Yep, here we go. Vote of no confidence. The Queen of Naboo has requested a vote of no confidence. And we've removed the previous Chancellor. A great day from the uh, for the Republic. So she Palpatine. <laughs> Ray Palpatine's... Uh, grandfather. <laughs> How stupid is that? Is now in charge of the Galactic Republic. And now we can vote with Palpatine in charge. Yes, it's all coming to plan. Okay, so we've got a looming bankruptcy here. Now, I tried to figure out if there was a way to get myself out of this debt. I think the game deliberately forces you to go into debt, so we're... <laughs> Don't read that, we're not... 600 million credits in debt. <laughs> so we're going to have to go to the the IBC treasury and take out a bunch of loans. So hopefully down our tech tree we can make that back eventually. So let's have a chat to the international, well, I guess, Universal Bank. And get some galactic debt in. Okay, so that should be enough to keep us afloat by a little bit. Yeah, because I couldn't seem to find anywhere that, like, raises the taxes. I just think it, like, deliberately does it, and, like, we'll eventually start making money back once we take some planets. Okay. So, uh, I guess we go down to a transition of power. So, why we're losing so much money is because there's all these corrupt corporations hanging around in Coruscant, so we need to root them out. Uh, we'll eventually go down to the Chosen One as well. We might even start that now. Go with the Jedi Order. Start that off. We want to bring in Jedi Generals like the movies. Okay, let's have a look at our research slots again. So, we're going down Electronic Engineering. Look, I think we've made enough headway in our industry to go down the military path a bit. So I think we'll go with Mobile Warfare Doctrine. Like, probably go with Grand Battle if you're playing with droids. And we'll get these blasters in the CR7 variant as well. Let's upgrade those blasters for our boys. Okay, so we've gone down the Jedi Order. I guess we go down to the Chosen One as well. But I guess you could refuse him if you wanted. He's too old to be trained. No, we want to try and get young Anakin Skywalker in. We want him to be a general at some point. Yes. Yes. We've got some spare political power here. We've only got a volunteer force at the moment, which is still a lot. <laughs> 10 mil. We can up it now to medium. So I wonder how high that will get in the future. That'll be good. We're launching the anti-corruption campaign under the Chancellor's uh, leading up to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. It's just like bureaucracy and stuff. So we're slowly making our way to the Battle of Geonosis. I'd love to get some ARC troopers in as well. That'd be cool. Those blasters have now been researched. So we can switch over our basic infantry equipment to the CR7 blaster variant as well. Sweet. And I guess we'll go with just like support equipment there as well. Okay. Yeah. 
Let's go with this. Got a bit of political power that we've built up that we probably should spend. We could call up Mace Windu or Kit Fisto for high military command. <laughs> I don't know why it's a phone. Um, we're probably better off going with early mobilization, um, I think. Yeah, we want to get that going. We want to eventually go to war economy. Uh, what else are we here? Getting some heavy engineering is probably the play. Alright, everything is coming up. Palpatine. <laughs> and we've even got some extra divisions as well that we're recruiting. We've restored the executive branch. And I guess we want to do Senate and Judicial Reform. Yeah, because we want to get the military creation of the Grand Army, don't we? Uh, we're also making a profit now, which is good. Once we, yeah, so they deliberately make you take out a bunch of debt, I guess, to show the banking system, which is really quite cool. So we'll start the Senate and Judicial Reform, and we'll start paying off that huge Republic debt that we've accrued. The Senate and Judicial Forms have now been uh, complete. We want to go with emergency powers as well. Yeah, because we have to petition the Senate for the creation of a, a Republican army, don't we? I love the Republic. <laughs> okay, so the trade is quite intense in this uh, mod. So we need... Oh, well, we still use aluminium in the Star Wars universe, do we? <laughs> so I guess we'll ask the Wookiees for some aluminium. <laughs> aluminium. Give me some aluminium, you Wookie. <laughs> and, yeah, there's some other stuff that we're out of as well. So we'll try and... Yeah, door... Door alloy. Door alloy. Have no idea what that is, but, yeah. We'll try and get some of that from friendly neighbouring worlds and, and systems as well. We might even try and get some from Camino as well. Okay, so... We've enacted emergency powers, and we want to try and get a Republic military creation. So I guess we'll... Oh no, we need to do emergency powers first. Right. Failed attempt assassination on Padme Amidala. Oh no! As an Australian, I always remember the play school guy <laughs> on the docks there that, like, blew up. <laughs> Do you know that, like, New Zealand actor? He's, like, a... He's, um... Yeah, I think he's New Zealand. Or he might be Australian. I don't know. But he's on, he was on Australian TV. But, yeah, the emergency powers have been uh, uh, act passed. Yeah, right. Oh, we had to vote on it. <laughs> I thought that we could push it through, so... That's good that that's gone through. We want to try and get military creation now. We won't have to vote for that. Look how much credits we have, man. It's actually kind of insane how much we're making now. It's a little bit unfair. And can we pay off our debt in one go? No, but I, I guess we don't want interest or, in, or inflation to come up. So we'll start paying off that loan as quickly as possible. Oh my god, we nearly wiped 100% off our debt. We're also going with infantry equipment too. And we can start getting engineer companies and support for our future divisions. We need to protect Padme Amidala. We need to protect her. We can't let her get assassinated again. So we've already had the the first movie. We're moving on to the second movie now, which is the Battle of Geonosis. Uh, the Commerce Guild secedes. So that's rather unfortunate. So I guess we have to deal with them in the future. So DC-15A blaster rifles have been constructed. So let's make a few of those now. Another assassination attempt on Padme Amidala of Naboo. That worm thing as a kid like really creeped me out. <laughs> that shit's gross, man. A shocking development. Here we go, the chase begins. Two Jedi Knight were seen chasing a bounty hunter through the street... Wait. Through the streets of Coruscant, yeah. All those, like, uh, air highway lane streets? I guess they are. But a wild chase happens. 
That's cool. Oh, okay, so Obi Wan has gone to the the diner. A Camino clone dart. Ah, Camino. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna have to send uh, Obi Wan to meet with the Kaminoans. Okay. All right. All right. Send him off. And now we're officially gonna be able to wipe the entirety of our galactic debt perfect so we'll start making a war chest and an army discovered hey so right so he's met with the people of commit yeah commander discovered i don't know why that was out of order i guess he found the army before he spoke to them i guess i always was kind of weirded out by the people of Kamino. They're like weird, sort of like, sort of like genetic. <laughs> I don't know. Puricists, I guess. It's kind of crazy that their planet is like all ocean. There's only like a couple of major cities. So they got a moon next to them. Yeah. And, oh, Geonosis is just a little bit to the south there. So that's cool. The army won't take very long to travel once we get it. A separatist stronghold discovered. Uh, after the fo following the suspect. Oh my god. Obi Wan Kenobi has discovered a grand droid army. We've got to go rescue him. <laughs> Okay, so the clone army now after negotiations is at our disposal. So what do we need to do here? So after the passing of the military creation, right, and he's met Django Fett. Interesting. Okay, so we need to vote on a military creation. So we'll put it up, we'll vote this, and we'll go it through. We need to defend the Republic. We need a creation of a grand army. <laughs> okay, there's war declared. Wait! Military creation failed? That that wasn't in the movie. <laughs> Hang on. How do I... <laughs> Hopefully we can do that again. Oh, uh, we have to, like, lobby them, don't we? Oh, god damn it. I love the Republic. We need an army. Bow, bow. Like, I guess, yeah, we can vote it again, so I guess we have to, like, lobby them. Who, it was mostly the pacifists, wasn't it? So many of them were, like, against it, which makes sense. Kashyyyk was massively against it. So, how about this time around? Hey, the military creation has passed. Oh my god. How anticlimactic would that be? Just not getting the clone army through? Nope. Obi-Wan Kenobi's dead. Okay, so with the creation now passed, we can, no, so we can't start off the Battle of Geonosis yet, and we can't get the Jedi in just yet, we need to wait for, um, yeah, Senator to do a speech, but we can go through the Jedi stuff while we wait, yeah, here we go. So, Count Dooku, this is a new order will serve the people, not the corrupt politicians. Yada yada yada, the Raxus, Raxus address. Alright. There's a couple of civil wars going on. So, now we have generals at our disposal. Here we go. Oppo Rancis, that's a snake dude, isn't it? Uh, Anakin Skywalker, Plo Koon, <laughs> Katamundi, uh, Kit Fisto, Yoda, oh my god, Lord of the Generals, we're about to do the movie. <laughs> oh, this is a bit of a goofy mob, but I, I'm actually really enjoying it, I'm having a blast. Right, so, the Battle of Geonosis is about to kick off. Hey, here we go. 
the Clone Wars begin. Victory, you say? Master Obi-Wan, not victory. The Shroud of Darkness has fallen. The Clone Wars is about to begin. Whoa, so the Galactic Republic has spawned. Whoa, that's a lot of divisions there. So, we've got some Phase 1 clone troopers at our disposal. We've also got some walkers here as well. And already the droids are... Blocking our port. That's not good. We need to recapture that instantly. Uh, there's even some more divisions from Kamino. There's so many allied ports. Because there's so many systems in the Republic. It's going to make it so much easier to go around. So we'll send those reinforcements from Kamino. Um, those guys don't look like Rodians. <laughs> that Rodians just like really like the World War II German aesthetic. Okay, so we've got 47 units back in Coruscant. Uh, we could send them down, but the clone troopers are going to probably be our main fighting force. I think those Senate forces that we've recruited, we'll use them to like defend planets. So we're only at tier 1, but now that we're in massive... Uh, massive positive. We're not in debt anymore. We've got heaps of money. So let's try and get some of these cruisers in. Uh, let's also try and get some head hunter fighters. We want to... Eventually get in gunships. Yeah, so we need to get our tech up, which is going to take 166 days. We'll get some ATTEs. Also some heavy artillery as well. Yeah, phase one. And then we can get phase two clone troopers in a while. We'll also get um, Republic commandos as well. Awesome. I really do like the system of the market because we are like buying them off the Kamunos, aren't we? Kaminoans. Rather than recruiting it and making it ourselves. So, the war against the Seppies, the Separatists, has kicked off. So. There are some other forces fighting in some planets as well. But to capitulate... The droids... It's gonna be, it's gonna be a hell of a war. It's gonna be a long series, this one. Right, so I guess we deal with the battle of Geonosis now. So, we've got some more political power. Let's bring in Mace Windu there. And Fisto. Um, and yeah, we'll go with like an equipment focus. So we went to medium, so whoa, that shot us up to 35 million from 10. That's quite a bit. We'll go with war economy as well eventually. Okay, so we do need to give the clone army its Jedi command. The Separatists actually have a higher tech than us. So those guys are still making their way from Kamino. But everything is kicking off. So we've got the Geonosians around. And then we've got, like, the Separatists holding that. So I guess we've got to give Yoda, Obi-Wan, and, and Anakin in command. So we'll set this up. Okay. Just took a little while to draw everything up. Right. So Yoda's here with 24 divisions. Obi-Wan's here as well, same with Anakin and Kit Fisto. So let's draw some of these battle lines. And let's take Geonosis. Geonosis. <laughs> take out the Geonosians. Alright. The only fact I know about... Geonosius. Geono I can't even say their names probably. <laughs> Geonosius. The Geonosians is that they're they use like sound blasters because they're like a they're like a hive mind bug species. They do most of their fighting underground. So to not l allow the the caves and the terrain above them collapse on top of them. That's why they use those beyond, beyond those like sound blasters. 
which are really bad. So we called everyone in. And let's try and take Geonosis. So the Clone Wars has officially kicked off a lot of dust here as well. Okay. Those units are still slowly but surely making their way from Kamino. We're starting to take some ground. They took my port behind me as well, so we're suffering a lot of attrition. Did that like we instantly deployed like a split second and they went behind us. We need to retake that massively. There we go, we got it now. Sweet. Good job, Fisto. You can probably sit back and hold it now, actually. Oh, let's go like that. Yep. Set up a staging ground for Yoda. But already, we are massively pushing down the clones. Oh, we've been invaded here. Oh, that's annoying. We've got some forces there. Hmm. See, these 50 divisions. I guess we'll... Send that over. To our neighbouring planet. I don't know what's, what it's called. We'll go over there. Oh, instantly! That's annoying! I want to focus on the Battle of Geonosis. <laughs> We've got... At least we got over there quite quickly. We've got Mundi over there. We should be able to deal with it. We need those clone reinforcements quickly. Yeah, so already... The droids want to naval invade me quite quickly. We just need to build a big enough fleet to put up strike force blockades around. Yeah. Oh my god, now they're attacking Coruscant. The Battle of Geonosis is going well here. We're starting to take some ground against the droids and the Geonosians. Yeah, I guess... The bug boys aren't skinned while the droids are. Still pretty early days in development, but I really like this mod. A lot of thought has been put into it. So so we've got a Rhodian loyalist and separatist civil war going on here. Um, so nothing's going on. I thought Naboo was getting attacked. No, that's just the Gungan Nation. <laughs> Okay, and then there's Amidala there as well. Uh, what's going on here? Some humanoid people that I have no clue. Ah, uh, uh, what's going on over here as well? Another separatist civil war. There's a fair few of them. Yeah, so we had a small droid incursion trying to make their way to the Senate buildings, but we've managed to subdue them and throw them back before they get too out of hand. We've got more over here as well, which is annoying. Right, back down to Geonosis. We're pushing about halfway through the path. Oh my god, what's this? All these wars. Let's go with extra gear for our boys. Ryloth want us to join their wall. As much as I appreciate a good looking Twi'lek, no thank you. So we've lost 80,000 clones, while wow. we've, we've destroyed nearly 500,000 droids. But we probably spawned with maybe too many like units there. I've also set up a massive defensive parameter in Coruscant, because I'm sick of dealing with these <laughs> naval invasions. So, I've split up these... Senate forces that I've recruited that are not clone troopers. We'll get some more ships in as well. So, just making sure all the tiles are occupied so they can't get taken. And we control the hyperspace as well. Okay. 
a little bit back and forth, but overall, I think we're going two steps forward rather than one step back. So we've taken out another Geonosian hive. And the Separatist Alliance in the core of the planet is now under Republic control. We've expanded the clone army as well. So now we've got our Jedi generals in. And we push through. Hey, Geonosis has been uh, capitulated. A lot of... Oh, we've actually got access to, like, droid fighters. Yeah. yeah, so we basically just want to expand the clone army. We want to try and get ARC troopers in and... Get some specialist clone divisions in. Okay. Start the 501st and stuff like that. Okay. So... Uh, so what was going on here? So DAC were in a war. Yeah, so this is like the... the what are they called? Oh, I was about to say calamari <laughs> for the Mon Calamari. Yeah, <laughs> that's what they are. They live in the DAC. Yeah, that's the planet. What a silly name. Yeah, because they have that civil war with the other squid people. Anyway, we destroyed all the dro uh, droids on Geonosis. Gen Geonosis. I don't know why I struggle with that so much. It's like Camino. Kaminoans. Geonosis. Okay. There's still a fair few of them holding in that port. So even though they've capitulated, we haven't kicked all of the droid forces off the planet's face. Hey, there we go though. Alright. Good start. So, we've had the Battle of Geonosis here today, and there's still so many more separatists, uh, separatist armies around the galaxy that we have to deal with. They're still trying to navally attack me, which is so annoying. But, we seem to be holding them back there, regardless. Alright, well, I hope you've enjoyed today's episode, guys. I've had an absolute blast. So, we're going to have to go after the rest of the Separatists, uh, the Techno Union, the Trade Federation, and we're going to continue uh, this campaign with Episode 2, coming out the exact same time tomorrow. So, thank you very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. I've had a blast playing this mod. And yeah, we want to continue to eliminate... Um, the rest of the droids, I guess, and win the Clone Wars. Then we'll execute Order 66 and have the Great Jedi Purge. But to do that, there's a lot of systems and worlds we need to take for the Republic. So, unfortunately, guys, we've got to end the video here. Cheers. I'm going to play the outro now. Unfortunately, guys, it is time to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already with the bell notification on. Let me know in the comment section down below feedback and suggestions for the video. And feel free to leave a dislike. If you want to support the channel and follow me on my social media links, they are all linked in the description below. We've got the series playlist that you can access. You can also have a look at my gaming and recording equipment. If you want to get yourself some cheap games, check out the links. You can support me on Patreon if you want. Channel members are available. Use creator code SimsyTotalWar on the Epic Games Store checkout uh, to flick me a couple of bucks. We've got Twitter, Discord, merchandise, Facebook, Steam Group, Instagram, Twitch, and Google Plus links all in the description below as well. But above all, guys, make sure to take care of yourselves. Have a fantastic rest of your day. My name has been Simsy. Much love from Australia. Goodbye.